yesterday? Yeah, I'd like to say no. Um, it was a fresh game. We knew what was at stake, and we still had a chance to qualify. So, I mean, it's, it'd be very silly, silly of us just to dwell on you know the games have gone. We can't bring them back. We can't control them. Uh, we had a really good opportunity opportunity today to play against Scotland and beat Scotland. And we didn't do that. Jason, you, you walked a long road with this team. Have, you, have we ever seen them so low as in this moment? Not going to walk up? Yeah, this is probably one of the lowest points that, that I've had with the team. Um, but no, you know, there's still a lot of positives. Um, I, I was really excited and happy for Nicholas, the way he played throughout this entire competition. Um, and, it, and it's good to see some of the younger guys, you know, getting an opportunity on a big stage and, and trying to grasp it. You know, we were, we were caught with a few injuries as well, too, which didn't really help the cause. Um, but all in all, I don't think all is lost. You know, there's still a lot of young guys in the group who can definitely develop and turn things around for West Indies cricket. Again, I, I think there's, there's, there's such a, a, a crucial partner in West Indies cricket where we've got a young crop of guys. Um, we've just got to put some support around them. I think it's really important that we try to utilize the time that we have outside the competition and try to put things in place where we can develop our talent. Um, we still have to look at the, the levels below as well and try our best to, to improve the levels below as well so that when guys get here, they at least have a good foundation. Um, but all in all, we still got to put our hands up and be accounted for as individuals. You know, we just didn't uh, play well enough. We haven't been playing well enough over the last, you know, probably couple of years. And it's, it's obviously an area that we need, we need to really pay some special attention to. But look, it's not a, it's not a quick fix. It is something that we, we need to spend time on. Um, as I said, I think development is the main important thing, uh, where we just put things in place where we could develop our talent, and you know, hopefully in the next couple of years we could see uh, the fruits of, of, of that of that um, of that crop. Look, that's that's a question I can't answer. Um, there's obviously been a change in administration <clears throat> in terms of Kishore Kishore Shallow coming in, and I know Miles is coming in a very important role as director of cricket. I, I'm sure that they, these guys will put their heads together. And do what's best for wrestling cricket. You know, I think that's really important. That you know, there's everybody involved in wrestling cricket. You know, really pay, pay special attention at this this crucial stage as to what is required, and, as, and we all have to pull together to make it work. Um, it's disappointing. Yeah, I mean, especially after last year's um, effort in the T20 as well, where we didn't qualify. Um, yeah, I've had the luxury of playing in two 50 over World Cups before. Uh, and I've had the luxury of being part of you know a couple of T20 World Cups. You know they're special occasions. Um, so this this one would definitely hurt, um, as the one last year did. Um, but again, there's no point, you know, moping on and you know keeping our heads down. You know we've just got to find ways to get better. Uh, we've got to find a way to turn our cricket around and head in the direction that we need to head in consistently. Um, there have been too many fluctuations between you know our good performances and bad performances, and it's just a matter for us to understand where we're at, you know, know where we, know where we want to go and all of us putting our hands on, on deck, you know, to make it happen. Um, look, I think Azariah Joseph, is, well, he was the quickest to 100 wickets um, and to me Azariah has really led the way in terms of how he's charged in for us and, you know, made, th made things happen for us with the ball. Um, you can see that a guy like Brandon King has a lot of talent in him, in him as well. Um, he just hasn't been able to capitalise on the starts he's gotten. Again, I highlighted Nicholas. You know, I think Nicholas has had an outstanding tournament. And our captain, Sheho. Our captain, Sheho, is probably our most consistent and best ODA batsman ever to play the game. So, look, those are the guys who probably would be entrusted to really take it forward. Um, the tour before this, you had a guy, young Alec Adenez, who, you know, showed promise, you know, in the little experience that he's had in the UAE. So, I'm sure he's one that will probably come into the fold as well, too. Um, and we still got guys who are really keen to, to be around, who been around for a bit more. So it's it's got a mesh of experience and youth, and I just think it's really important. As I said before, it feels um you know sound like a stick record, but we've all got to do it. You know, it's not a, it's not an individual thing, it's not a territorial thing. You know, we just got to come together as a as a region and really really think about how we would want to go forward as a group and, and make it happen.